Welcome to Plastic Profiles again. Welcome. 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 <laughs> the, the internet's yeah. only award-winning adjacent GI Joe podcast. Adjacent. So and we have more screens today. Welcome, podcast from the pit, everybody. Casey and I Hedley don't like here. change. <laughs> Thanks for having us <laughs> again. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, Gosh, guys. it feels so familiar. It's like we were just here talking about all this. Yeah, you ever get a sense of deja vu? <laughs> yeah, deja me. That. Yeah, deja you. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. this. That's gonna make this gag not go over great at all. But we're here to talk about. <laughs> oh, dang. Doggone it! All right, Agent Chuckles forgot to hit the record again. Um, so, welcome to Plastic Profiles. Mm -hmm. What you? Uh, what we do here on Plastic Profiles, Plastic Profiles, Plastic Profiles, is we examine the classic mm -hmm. G.I. Joe file card and its corresponding... I did this so well the first time! The file card and the figure, and then we look at the classified figure and the retro. We got, we determine which one of those is best represented by the file card. Yeah. yeah a little lack of energy. I'm just going to... I gonna phoned that one in. I phoned it in, okay? You, I've already done it. Yeah. You dialed that in, all right? <laughs> just... Hello? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to dial that in. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, all of it. All right, no, you're gonna get a good show from us. Where are the we, professionals? We know because we know it's good. We just did it. Because <laughs> dog on it. Okay, all right. Let's we get to it. Let's get to humor it. Humor to cover frustration. Here. <laughs> yeah. I can't deal with my emotions, so I laugh. <laughs> I'm a very happy person. <laughs> just giggles. <laughs> Uh, so, of course, we're here to talk about, you guys know the gag, Airborne, the 1993 Jack Black. It was a movie. It came out. It happened. Let's move on. We're here, we're here. I can't pretend that we, they, they've already seen it. I can't, what, am I going to come up with another Airborne movie? Okay. All right. So it had a young Jack Black. Everybody listening and watching right now, they're like, what, what did we do? What happened? Yeah. Why is he mad at us? <laughs> a young Jack Black, a young Seth Green, uh, uh, a Shane McDermott, we still don't know, and Brittany Powell, I'm not sure either. They were in a movie... Kind of like Karate Kid, but with rollerblades. That's You're all so, you got to know. This is so blah. <laughs> this is the star of the show. This is Airborne. Uh, those are jump wings in the center there. We're going to talk about those later. Um, Airborne came out in 1980. I just don't have the heart to read this again. 1983 <laughs> Airborne file card. Helicopter assault trooper. Codename Airborne. File name, Tall Tree, Franklin E., primary, primary military specialty, airborne infantryman, secondary military specialty, helicopter gunship gunner. We're going to put an asterisk there. We'll come back to it. Birthplace, Navajo Reservation, Arizona, grade E5. Airborne's parents are oil-rich Navajos who indulge their eldest son with skydiving lessons. Tall Tree also studied law and passed the Arizona State Bar exams. Joined the Army and opted for airborne training, commenting, I'd rather jump out of airplanes than write legal briefs. Graduated top of class from Airborne School, Fort Benning, which we know is now Fort Moore. Qualified expert, Hughes helicopter chain gun, M16, M60, and M1911A auto pistol. Airborne jokes around and gets loose, but he's serious too. Dead serious. You look at him and sometimes he's looking through, right through you. Must be the Italian in him or the Indian. Uh, the Navajos <laughs> call it the far seeing look. Spooky. I call it daydreaming. Uh, yeah, some might say bored. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very Are you good. done yet? <laughs> <laughs> okay. C one thirty. Yeah, you know what it is now. All right, next yeah. slide. No, I'm kidding. You're not C gonna get me <laughs> rolling down the strip. See the writing dad. What's that from? Man, that is a. I, you know what? I don't even remember what you said, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a cadence, right? It is an art. It is a cadence. Yay. Very good. Uh, Very cadence. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say like yeah, an Steven's phoning it in now too. Stephen is also phoning it in. Just <laughs> all right. All right. Bye bye. I was gonna say army yes. song, but I was like, no, that's not correct. Like, what? Well, what it is. Yeah, it's an oh. art. Um. <laughs> 
So, yes, the United States Army Airborne School, widely known as Jump School, mm -hmm. conducts the basic paratrooper training for the United States Armed Forces. It is, and notice I said armed forces. It is operated by the 1st Battalion, 507th Infantry, United States Army Infantry School, Fort Moore, Georgia, formerly Fort Benning. The Arm Airborne School conducts the basic airborne course, which is open to troops from all branches of the United States Department of Defense, gung-ho went there, Reserve Tr Officer Training Corps, and allied military personnel. So people from other countries even come and do this school. First week is ground week. The first week of air basic airborne course is dedicated to teaching prospective troopers how to land properly to minimize the potential for injury and general familiarization with the T-10D and the T-11 parachute, not the T-10C or B. Those are outdated. It's the T-10D. <laughs> okay. I <laughs> learned so much each episode. And that joke wasn't good the first time either. Mm. <laughs> Second week is Tower Week. The second week of jump school concentrates on the jump towers. I don't know why I ended it like a question. Why? why is it, I was about to ask. Was Are you asking? Perspective <laughs> troopers will continue using the 34-foot tower in addition to the swing ladder training. <laughs> a suspended harness and occasionally the 250-foot tower. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal with this? Finally, the third week, soldiers get to practice their new skills while jumping. At, no, okay, I'm not I'm done. Jumping out of aircraft in flight. The C-130 or C-17 aircraft pick up the paratrooper students in front of the hangar. And, Steve, wake up! <laughs> in front of the hangar at Lawson Air, Army <laughs> Airfield. From there is a very short flight to Firefield, commonly referred to as Fire Drop Zone, where all the training jumps are accomplished. <laughs> Friarfield is named after Private Elmer E. Fryer of the United States Army's 511th Parachute Infantry I'm Regiment. sorry. I find this so funny. <laughs> posthumously. <laughs> I might be the only guy saying the word posthumously, but laughing. Uh, received the Medal of Honor for his actions in World War II. A soldier must complete five jumps, uh, normally including at least one night jump to graduate airborne school. So the five jumps, that's the basic minimum to pass uh, airborne school. They call you referred to, it's referred to as the, you're a, after five jumps, five jumps, which is the basic uh, uh, minimum amount to jump. You're called a five jump chump. <laughs> and then you get the little metal wings I referred to earlier, and those are jump wings, and those are five jump chump lead wings. It's whatever. It's whatever, guys. It's whatever. So, All right, so here's pictures. Soak it in <laughs> again. I was I was curious about why what uh, Private Fryer did, so I looked it up. Oh yeah, please enlighten me because yeah. I didn't do it. For conspicuous. <laughs> This is uh, his Medal of Honor citation. Okay. For cons conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity. At the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty, Private Friars Battalion encountered the enemy strongly entrenched in, posi in a position supported by mortars and uh, automatic weapons. The battalion attacked, but in spite of repeated efforts, was unable to take the position. Private Friars Company was ordered to cover the battalion's withdrawal to a more suitable point from which to attack. But the enemy launched a strong counterattack, which threatened to cut off the company. Seeing the enemy platoon moving to outflank his company, he moved to higher ground and opened heavy and accurate fire. He was hit and wounded, but continued his attack. He drove the enemy back with the loss of 27 kills while withdrawing to overtake his squad. He found a seriously wounded comrade, helped him to the rear and soon overtook his platoon leader who was assisting another wounded while these four were moving to rejoin their platoon an enemy sniper appeared and aimed his weapon at the platoon leader private fire friar instantly sprang forward received the full burst of automatic fire on his own body and fell mortally wounded mm -hmm. with his remaining strength he threw a hand grenade and killed the sniper wow private friars an indomitable fighting spirit and extraordinary gallantry above and beyond the call of duty contributed to outstandingly to the success of the battalion's withdrawal in its subsequent attack and defeat of the enemy. 
his heroic action in unhesitantly giving his own life for his comrade in arms exemplifies the highest tradition of the U.S. Armed Forces. The man was a bad man. Yeah. We salute you. Yes. Awesome. Thank you for looking for that. That's uh well, I should have done that. No, I mean I was curious. Yeah. And yeah. We the more you know. Now you know. Yeah. <laughs> and knowing is half the battle. That's right. It's at right. least half of it. So um yeah. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna I was just gonna talk about the pictures. Did you have some more you wanted to add? Uh just that for me to get to jump out of the back of a plane, they would have um, claw marks and they'd have to <laughs> disinfect and pressure wash the back of the plane <laughs> because I'll be digging all ten of my fingers into the sides <laughs> and somebody's going with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh so here for you uh watchers you viewers we have the uh the, the parachute landing falls on the left where they're jumping off a, a table like your average uh six-year-old and then on the right we see the 250 foot tower uh using the t10 parachutes uh yeah that tower is pretty mm, yeah they'll have to they'll have to a team mr t me on that <laughs> give me some quote milk and uh, let me pass out because that's that's a lot I think yeah, the, crazy, the crazy thing is, is that I've I've skydived before. Oh, yeah. oh. But, so, but I'm older now. You know, I'm much older now, mm. and it, my my perspective has changed. Like you mm. know, while I think it was fun and exciting, I'm glad to have had that experience. Would I do it again now? Probably not. You know, I'm not. I don't need that kind of thrill. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you know. But I'm you know you have that in your back pocket now if you absolutely had to. Oh, yeah. I, I, I can and I will do it again if necessary. You know, that's right. But, that's right. Uh, I won't like I'm not going to sign up to go jump out of a plane. Like, you know, to, <laughs> I'm, I'm past that stage in my life. So right, right. All right. Very cool. We'll move on here. Uh, <laughs> Airborne daddy going to take a little trip. Anybody know where that's from? That's another cadence. Hey, it is. Good yeah, job. Good Because <laughs> I studied. Oh, we even had coordinated. Yeah, all right. Uh, um, right. Yeah, we lost that in time. Yeah. So on the left, we have the Army Parachutist badge. These are the uh, the five jump chump lead wings. Uh, the Army's Par Army Parachutist badge is awarded to all military personnel of any service who complete the U.S. Army Basic Airborne Course at Fort Moore, Georgia formerly Fort Benning. It signifies that the soldier is a trained military parachutist and is qualified to participate in airborne operations. The badge and its so on equivalent may be worn on the army combat uniform on your left side. Duke, we're talking to you. No. <laughs> uh, so, okay. So on the right hand side, we have the air assault badge. Um, if someone were say a helicopter assault trooper, mm -hmm. they would get that badge. Um, is uh, awarded by the U.S. Army for successful completion of the Air Assault School. The course includes three phases of instruction involving U.S. Army rotary wing aircraft, combat air assault operations, rigging and sling loading operations, and repelling from a helicopter. So uh, here are his qualified expert weapons. We got the M16, the M1911A1, and the M60. And then uh, there is the Hughes chain gun. This one is an M230 mounted on an AH-64 Apache. And um, that is so beautiful. It I mean, really is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I got to get one. Yeah. <laughs> Mowing down some trees. Yeah. Daddy's got to cut grass. That's right. <laughs> it, just, it just lugs it on like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have my beer ready when I return. I'm just going <laughs> to hold it. <laughs> yeah i'm I'll, pretty sure that won't happen i'll bring in a mess of squirrel <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's good eating tonight kids <laughs> so here's the 83 airborne packaging if we'll we'll notice on the cover that he is uh repelling presumably out of a helicopter um which is interesting because his file card doesn't mention 
this sort of training, air assault training. It mentions helicopter uh, gunner, which is not the same training. Mm. Um, so I think, in my mind, this settles the debate. Is he a paratrooper? Is he a helicopter assault? What does he do? Well, he doesn't look like he has the training. Now, obviously, we have our own head cannons. We do what we want. That's what that's the beauty of G.I. Joe. You can make it what you want. You can get all the, you know, if you like the real military, stick with the real military. You like the wacky wacky, get the wacky wacky. That's you can right. get whatever you want. Or as Fozzie says, the waka waka. Um, oh, the waka waka. That was good. The yeah. waka waka. I got to add some new jokes. Yeah. Um, so, because they're rebels. Waka waka waka. Um, <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah. So I, uh, yeah, he's, I, I think he is a paratrooper. That's, that's what I'm going to use him for. All right. Um, so, uh, I, because I don't know this answer, Casey, uh, <laughs> is this one of your top <laughs> file card art? I would say yes. <laughs> uh, top five. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Right. Very good. Yeah. Do you know, is this is this Hector Garrido? Because that's something we've mentioned on our show before. Is I, I know that there were other artists, um, particularly later on, but I don't know when that happened. And so we just attributed it all to Hector Garrido. I mean, I don't give him credit verbally, but that's I just assume it. Um, <laughs> right. I believe who, so. Yeah. I believe so, but I don't know. Yeah. I'll look into it, though. So I got a question. Sure. Where are you getting your images? Oh, you. Hey! Oh, you. Oh, you. I like that. Hey! Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. And none, and I didn't think anything of it either. I, was, yeah. you know, we I thought about it. I, I did think about it in the first the first time we recorded this. And, Do we uh, get a jingle? Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm talking slow, because I got to think one up. He's... <laughs> hey, Everybody, be quiet. <laughs> I can do the jingle. Okay. No, I got. Oh, you want to do one? I'll do it. If you got one locked and loaded, oh, go for it. Because I got a, I got a really lame one. Three D Joe's do 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 do. Three D Joe's do 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 do. Three D Joe's. Three D Joe's do. Oh. All right. Very cool. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, all of our classic images. Uh, brought to us by the fine folks at 3D Joe's. Uh, yeah, I couldn't do the slideshows without uh, without their uh, expressed written consent of Major League Baseball. You guys are awesome. <laughs> yes, yes. Love Please that. check them out for everything. Uh, Yo, Joe's good for some things, maybe, maybe. But now 3D Joe's is taking it over. They're, mm -hmm. they're, the, they're the kings. So, yes, thank you for bringing that up, Hillbilly. Thank you. The One guy. thing I gotta say about this card art style. Yes. Whenever in '82, whenever I first seen GI Joe's on the peg, mm -hmm. and I seen the explosion, and I seen Breaker and the Snake Eyes and all of them, and then continued into this with a new, new swivel arm battle grip. Mm -hmm. It just sucked me in. They, yeah, they brought the figure to life. Yeah, and yeah. it was just like cops, pow, and I'll shut up yeah. and get off the sick box. <laughs> no, no, it's true because you know you mentioned Breaker. If Breaker were sitting at a desk and you and it was like a, you know, yeah. <laughs> that's not very exciting. But the explosion we're, with you know them doing something, even Breaker just doing this, you know, yeah. I mean, that's it's like he's under fire got it you know he's 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 requesting uh backup or you know I like something hearing, i like hearing everybody has a a certain take on it and when you can look at something and you can identify with it or it takes you back to a certain period in your life or a certain feeling and and you express that that thing that's pretty cool man uh, you yeah. know I, I enjoy that especially about this particular community you know and, and because you, you look at something that it's from the childhood and you would think as an adult that's just your childhood okay it's past right. that right but when right. you can look at it and like man it still brings back those feelings like I, that's a bit of magic man you can't yeah. replicate you know what i mean like that's 
it, it does something to me, you know. I'm yeah. like, man, that's awesome, you know. When I, mean, I see that explosion, I can, you know, it makes me want to mimic the car, like snake eyes, you know, point, <laughs> or you know, like we were doing breaker, or you know, yeah. and like oh, oh, lots in here. The only thing, or, you know, grunt can... running, holding the gun wrong, you know, like all <laughs> that stuff. And the only thing it could really set this card art off even more. It'd be like if there was bullets zinging past him because you know he's going into the thick of it. Yeah, yeah. He's dropping down. He's getting ready to take out some snakes. Yeah. And he's going to be kicking butt, taking names, keeping some of them, and giving other people different names. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I bet. You know, I would bet if uh, if this wasn't a, you know, like a Hasbro product, if this were, say, Valiverse or something like that, I bet we'd see that. But, you know, I... I We've gone through some of these, and, and you can tell they've made obvious changes. You know, look, look at Firefly's card art. It's just weird. You know, like, what was he holding in his hand if it wasn't that gun? And and so uh, they probably tried to tone these down to some extent. Um, so, yeah. So if it were another company that didn't care, that just wanted to put out the coolest picture ever, yeah, I would love to see with bullets and, and uh, you know, just all kinds of, you know, wear and tear on their uniforms maybe or you know, whatever. That would be pretty sweet. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. All right. So that's the packaging. So then we have the 83 Airborne Breakdown. He comes with a helmet with goggles molded on. He has a rifle M16-ish with the bayonet. He has a backpack with shovel molded on. He has a pistol, and only one pistol molded on his leg. He has a knife molded on his chest, a grenade molded on his chest. Uh, if you look at the inset there, I also have uh, from 3D Joe's uh, the Chevron differences in the designs, how the lines are a little thicker. And if uh, you newly minted agents out there, my my plastic profilers uh, might remember the spirit episode where we talked about the Chevrons facing the wrong way. And that's that's a post-Civil War um, style. Why they gave it to the, the indigenous people, uh, Joe's, I don't know. But... Yeah, it's cool. And he's also got his wings in, in the center, you know, maybe expressing, maybe they're a version of the jump wings of some sort, or at least, to, you know, a stand in for it. I always learn so much from these episodes. Yeah, you know, that's what we do. <laughs> I enjoy it. That's what we try to do, that's even if we have to do it twice. That's right. <laughs> hey, it just <laughs> means we get to hang out with you more. So <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. all right. Yeah. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> My hourly rate changes, though, just let you know, after the first hour. <laughs> I kid, I kid, I kid. So this is a classic, uh, classified airborne box. Uh, love this box style. I love what they've changed. Uh, I really hope they'd never go back to that other style. Um, I don't know who the artist is that did it. I think there's a couple of guys that do it back and forth, but I don't know for sure. So I don't I don't give credit. But if anybody knows, please mention it in the comments below. Um, but yeah, it's just a great art. Uh, front and and back and um, and if you notice there, you can see there's they did an homage to the uh, jump wings, the similar style to what is given on the original figure. Just a little nod Very for you, cool. for you old purists, right, Steve? We're all old, old, <laughs> old. For you oldie moldies, I'm old. <laughs> All right. So you know, they classified real, real, real quick, real fast though. You can yeah. set you set it up now, man. Because oh yeah. The yeah. old, right? And then my son, like he was making fun of me because I was like my back had gone out, right? And I asked uh -huh. him to do something. He was like, Oh, you can't get up. I was like, No, I can get up just fine. He's like, No. And then he went and led and started mimicking you know me. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm so old. Oh, my back is giving out. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I can't perform basic functions. Oh. <laughs> You're grounded. I was like, oh, that it was fun. Then to see what the rule is. Yeah, if you can make me laugh, like you get a pass. You know what I'm oh. saying? Oh, is that it? No. Oh, yeah. Good. So if, if if it's something that you can make me, if it made me laugh, like it obviously it's not crazy dangerous or anything, I might give you a pass. Like you have a better hey, shot. kill this guy. Like, yeah. <laughs> Like, oh well, you know, I mean, I guess it was funny, you know. <laughs> like, it's definitely know. creative. Yeah. Hey, hey Dad, I got a funny story. We went skydiving. And... <laughs> I uh, off I the top of a house. 
Anyway, all right. I was that was off. That was, that was off. Jimmy broke his leg. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I parachuted right. over Yankee Stadium and pooped. Isn't that funny? Oh my gosh! <laughs> right there. Plop. Um. So yes. Yeah, so I don't know what that was all about. Here's the classified airborne breakdown. Um, he does come with a submachine gun, which in my mind would be more useful for a helicopter assault trooper than his regular M16. But um, mm. yeah, I don't know. I, I like both, but um, I prefer the original classic gun. But we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, it's kind of submachine gun with gun with magazine. Mm. It does come with a pistol and suppressor. The suppressor works on the rifle or the not rifle, the gun as well as the pistol. He comes with goggles he can wear on his face. Um, he comes with a backpack with the shovel molded on. He comes with a knife. He comes with, uh, oh my God, how many goggles did I say? Okay. I got to block that out too. All right. So he comes with the, uh, goggle cover that you can put over his helmet. So his it looks like he's mask. not using his goggles. Yes. The sleep mask. Do not That's right. Him the sleep mask. Him. Yeah. Yeah. It's you, you chill it and then you put it over your eyes when you go to sleep and then you wake up and you have no wrinkles. What is it? What if he, it was a thing like Jinx, like, you know what I'm saying? That when he was really serious about skydiving. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he put on the blind. <laughs> that like, would be a true G.I. Joe thing. Yeah. What are you that doing? We're getting ready to jump out of a plane. We're getting ready to jump out of a plane. What are you doing? I do it better when I'm blindfolded. <laughs> ah! <laughs> like, cool. he has no idea when. Oh, I can sense when I'm supposed to pull the cord. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? You see those spikes there? I'm going to avoid them. I count to 10 and then I pull it. I use my third eye to see where I'm going. I use my inner, I use the, 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 the far sighted, the far look to, to determine uh, how far away the ground is. <laughs> what if he just mixes and started doing jutsu? It's like, oh, I see through the experiment. <laughs> I uh, all right because I'm taking it all. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna yeah. keep going. <laughs> I I don't, I'm not sure he'd get his wings if that was his technique. <laughs> oh, oh, he God. might not jump a second time. <laughs> yeah, might be a reason. Um, so yes, he, yeah, he comes with the bottom. Well, the rookies are like, that's why he's the best. <laughs> yeah, he's the best of the best. <laughs> you, you only blindfold if you're that good. <laughs> So he does come with his nods, his night vision device, um, which I think are are super cool. Um, and then, uh, yeah, he has a grenade molded on. Um, I didn't mention the canteens because, but they're on his backpack too. His two oh. double barreled canteens. Nice. Double fist drinker. That's right. That's right. Filled with water <laughs> and fire water. One's got chocolate powder, one's got milk. And then the straws. Ooh. And then you gargle it. It mixes together. Yeah. <laughs> or, or Hershey syrup in one. Oh, oh, you know what? I'm going straight syrup on this one, guys. <laughs> I need that rush. I need the rush. I need the burn. <laughs> All right. Very cool. So, uh, <laughs> Casey, who hits your target? Which airborne is your go-to ultimate airborne? Well, they're both great. Hmm. Uh, the classified airborne is probably the best classified figure to me. Hmm. But I will go O-ring hmm. because from '83 on, he's been my favorite Joe, and he probably always will be. Nice. Yep. Very cool figure. Hillbilly, who you got? Well. Growing up, I never had him, and my nephew, who happens to be my favorite nephew because he's my only nephew, oh, okay. got me um, <laughs> airborne a few years ago for Christmas. Oh. I happen to be his oh. favorite oh. uncle. Oh, I'm his only uncle, so oh. that makes sense too. Yeah, so uh, the more I fidget with this figure, I got him right here in my hands, and the more I fidget with it the more I'm falling in love with it. So mm. if I could go back to 1983 and find little hillbilly, I'd punch him right in the throat and say, get, <laughs> get airborne. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to have to go with O-ring. <laughs> all right. All right. See, We're that's, too ill. 
dude i'm just like now picturing like what if what if you had that ability <laughs> and you actually went back like would that be the first thing you did like you know what i'm saying like, <laughs> like you jumped out of the closet you just <laughs> this poor kid does have no idea Maybe you want to have him just him trying to breathe. And he's just trying to live <laughs> You you walk in the door one day, and mom, you, mom. This guy kicked me in the nards and gave me an airborne figure. And you stand over <laughs> him, it's like good airborne dummy. And then <laughs> this kid is traumatized for the rest of his life. <laughs> and then one day in the future, you look in the mirror and you realize that you were the guy that. Went back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How come every time I look at this airborne figure, I get intense ab abdominal pain? <laughs> <laughs> How come? How come I? Always ha wake up in cold sweats and pee in the bed. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Why well, I never got airborne? <laughs> oh, man, I saw that whole freaking <laughs> timeline. <man. laughs> then I'd stop and whenever little hillbilly is looking at the well and the dragonfly, you're like, "Wow, oh, dragonfly or the well, fool." Oh, Steve is Steve in your mind is there a head cannon uh scene in that movie where he's 45 and he wipes the the foggy window of a shower bathroom and looks himself and realizes you know and then it, was, it was you it was you all the, along the it was you all along happens and then he yeah. sees himself through the child's eyes <laughs> and then it just pans to the mirror's reflection <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like a bad French movie. It goes fiend because he's fiend. screaming, "Why no?" <laughs> and he is smoking the cigarettes. No, held in a fetal position in a pulmonary blood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's exactly what it was in my mind. Like it all just went through, and then like the big finale was like, "Oh, it was you all along." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> The finale is he's rocking himself, doom scrolling on eBay to get the airborne finally. <laughs> I'm not gonna make this mistake again. Well, that may be every why time you add every time he adds one to a cart, like a nose <laughs> whose bleed starts. He's he got glitched. He's paused for a second. Yeah, sorry. That that may be why I had to pick him up at. Uh, no, oh, not PowerCon. Winterfest. I finally mm. found the complete one, the Winterfest, for good price. So I was like, I got to get him because I kept getting these twitches and like pain in the back of my head. Oh, <laughs> like oh, I got to, I got to do something. Hey man. All right, see you in the writing, Dad. Who you got? All right. Well, I think I know. I think I know. Uh, I think you know. <laughs> yeah, I think I knew the first time. <laughs> There's something about something old. You can never go wrong with the old, but you always got to make room for the new. <laughs> so with that being said, that was a terrible, terrible Marlon Brennan impression. But anyway, with that being said, I it would have been uh, better if I'd gone first with my. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll give it a shot. Go, go, go. <laughs> No, no. I made an offer. <laughs> Chew your food. <laughs> All right, who you got? Who you got, Steve? All right, I like Agent progress, Steve. man. Like the original figure, it, it looks fantastic. You know. Um, all joking aside, anytime I see, you know, when they give credit to like, you know, a Native American, you know, a minority or whatever the case may be, I like that. I, I think that that's a win. So big ups to this figure, but I am going to go with the classified version because mm -hmm. the update is, is so sick. You know, me, both great figures, but I do like yeah. the detail that comes with this. I think that when they did upgrade it, you know, it looks fantastic. It looks great. Um, that that's the figure I will go with all day. All right. All right. Cool. Uh, and that leaves me. Um, so, okay. So you, uh, <laughs> Agents might know that I am a stickler for oh, it was a uh, traditional. Well, basically, no. Story. Look, if it's a blown up example, 
of the original figure. I always go to the original figure. I hate um, change. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hide my. Um, and no, it's that's just how it is. If it's exactly the same figure, unless there's some sort of update or something to it, which of course it wouldn't be an exact figure then. But if it's an exact oh, same figure, I always go. <laughs> I always go back to the original. Um, and these are very similar, mm -hmm. but because of the nods. I'm going classified because helicopter gunners would wear those. I, I, you know, so I, I get that. I think that that's maybe a little nod into his helicopterness business nice. that he does, and I think that that makes him more the more complete airborne based on the file card. That's now, again, so remember we said this is amazing. This is amazing. Yeah, remember oh the, the file card. You know, that's what we do. We we look Who at the file the card. And it, yeah, I know it never happens. It never happens. He chose the classified. Rarely happens. I shouldn't oh. say that, but rarely happens. Um, this is rigged. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. Um, so we've 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 figured out that we all like these figures. They're both great, solid figures Absolutely. from their perspective years. You can't go oh, wrong with either one. I won't have to get that classified now. But he is he is pretty, pretty cool. sharp. Yeah, yeah he's he is very, very good. cool. And um and I'm I'm certain they're gonna reuse the helmet for for other things. You know, his his body is is that suit that he's wearing is very cool. Um, you know, we're gonna see that repainted for sure. No, I, I think I'm gonna take the gun off the Crimson Guard and give it to my classified yeah. airborne. Yeah, now. a lot of people are doing that. Yep. Yep. Um I uh I I could see them doing this retro figure. Because again, I, I try to I try to look at this in terms of how Hasbro's thinking uh, yeah. when they make these things. So I think maybe they leave out the nods. Maybe they swap out his gun for the original for the or a Crimson Guard that might have laying around. Um, you know, change up maybe the paint deco a, a tad maybe, and then mm -hmm. then you have a retro figure. Um, unlike some other figures that they've released, that how are you going to get more retro? Say quick kick. Than this, maybe just his little gray knapsack. Yeah. You know, you really can't. Yeah. Um, the Techno Viper. I mean, gosh, that's what they look like. So um, that's a great figure too. The, oh, it's amazing Viper. figure. It's yeah, amazing figure. But I don't know, <laughs> other than repainting it different colors, how you would make it more retro. Um, and um, so, probably, and, probably yeah. be easier to make it a Night Force. Hmm. The lagging continues. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What was the what? It, <laughs> I heard Hillbilly say it easier. Easier to be make, night force. Make him night force. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he kind of looked something like this. Yes. Yeah, screen. Cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Okay, director. <laughs> there you go. I mean, cool. Nice. My camera is not the greatest, but yeah, I mean, Night Force version. After I got the uh, complete one, I broke this one, the one my nephew gave me down, and I turned him into a Night Force. Nice, cool version. Yeah, he looks really good. You know it, that that had me thinking though. Um, in the mo is it was it post. Um, near the end of the new skull didn't they do a quick kick character that had like stripes or something on it like painted on him was that a, was his name nunchuck or did they call him something else or was he quick kick do you know what i'm talking about casey i feel like there was uh you know i'm not i remember a 12 quick, inch quick i remember a 12 inch, a 12 inch figure of quick kick and i thought maybe uh, i could be mixing something up but I yeah, I just never liked the Joes that didn't have shoes or boots. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, really. Like, come on. Hey, don't get this. That's a very specific shirts. mission he's going on. Give him some sandals at least. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Something. Even Bruce Lee wore penny loafers or whatever, you know. Come on. <laughs> aqua socks. Give him some aqua socks. Mm. So now's the time of the show where we uh you can grab all the kids. It's their favorite time it's of, that of time. our show. A little thing we like to call. Relax, it's just coming. It's coming. Relax. Yeah. Chill out. <laughs> K 
Casting call. Casting. Um, uh, so let's see. Since I already know everybody's picks, <laughs> <laughs> um, Hillbilly, I recall yours was a particular actor. I think it was at Forrest Good Luck. Was that your? Yeah, but I was going to change it up and say. Oh, Casey. you're changing it. Oh. And say Casey. <laughs> no, okay. uh, Don Fry. He's from Arizona. I Casey is our. Casey? <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, Casey. Okay, sorry. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Here we go. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to change it up a little bit. And okay. I'm, I'm going to say Don Fry. And I'm going to be a rebel and stay with the rules. Okay. Even though he's wrong ethnicity. I think it's hard right. to say that word. That's a big word. It's pretty close. I'll give uh, it to you. All right. I'd know what you were meaning if you were yelling it down a hallway. Yeah. <laughs> Don Fry. Don Fry. Okay. Let's see. I can share a screen. Up up there. there we go. There's Don Fry. Yeah. Young, young Don Fry. Maybe that one? It's not on. Is yeah. it? No. Oh, doggone it. Not recording. Oh, either. nope. There yet. Yeah, still there. At, <laughs> about now. Kind of. Yeah. Look at that stash, man. Magnum PI of the UFC. <laughs> yeah, cool. yeah, that's an outside the box uh, cast uh, for this. Uh, yeah, I, so you uh, see right there yeah. that, that picture with him and the blonde dude, like you know what I'm saying? Like he's grabbing the back yeah. of that dude's head. When you watch oh, yeah. the of that fight, like when they just going at it, that, and that's what that's what it was. It was like they're just boom pounding each other's faces. No other parts of the body, just punches to the faces. Both trying to knock each other out. Yeah, it was ridiculous, man. If I remember that fight correctly, that is the Yoshihiro Takayama fight. <laughs> oh, yeah. very good. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you, you scholar. Oh, oh man, gentlemen. Oh, you impress me more and more. Today. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, so, yeah. So, and, and next, uh, I think I already know who Casey's pick is going to be. And, wow! Uh, yeah, wow. you know. Wow! My, wow. I've got, I've got the the far side, the far look, the far. Mm. I don't remember what it was. Alex Mraz. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The perfect yeah. airborne. <laughs> Steve, I think based on your reaction, did you pick him too? No. Oh, how did you know? Oh. How did you know? This is crazy. So we got three to one. Oh, three to one. Alex Mraz has been voted as airborne in our fanfic movie. I, I think this is where I'm supposed to bow out now, isn't it? So I'll, I'll, no, it's all right, man, because this is what we do. We yeah. encourage rebels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's good. We don't discourage the 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 outlier, the 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 person who didn't win. We we promote yeah. everybody. Well, see, the thing is, is that it's you know better to be the loser. It's crazy. <laughs> You know, yeah, I mean, it's better to be the loser for now. Since I'm yeah, not the forget that herd mentality. Well, Think for yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's you know, that's just going to be keeping you down. Well, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I do have to say Don Fry would be a killer Flint. Flint? Yeah. I'm still not sure I see it for Flint either, but yeah. I mean, if you want to pick that for Flint, too. Um, That's I'll give you a Mercer, we all, maybe. We can all do our own movies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And be like, oh, you look, look, my look it up. You, know? you know what? Let's just do Don Fry plays all the Joes, and we'll <laughs> stick with Nicolas Cage plays all the Cobras. Okay. Yeah. I'd hey. see it. I'd see it. Deal. Yep. Deal. Yep. Nick Cage. Uh, now, Nicolas Cage cool. would be a great cover commander. Yeah, that's what we yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, he totally would. Yes, that's what we said. I'm telling you, yeah. I love Nick Cage. Don't get me yeah. started. He needs that's to get involved true. in the GI Joe. Ooh, he totally yeah. needs to. Yeah. Man. Well, that was a uh, that was a show. That was two shows. Yeah, that was <laughs> two shows worth of material we just did that there. Was... So, in honor of podcast from the pit, we will. Talk about what we just got in. These guys. Yeah, these guys. These guys. These guys. <laughs> and we'll start with Casey. Casey, what did you get in? Well, I uh, received the last two uh, of the Delta 17 figures I needed. Okay. And 
first off, I'll show Kestrel. Oh, yeah. Beautiful yeah. figure. Yeah. Very reminiscent of, uh, of like, Falcon, even, kind of. Yeah. But. Oh, wow. That's and crazy. all these accessories on a O-ring. Wow. These figures are awesome. And you've probably heard me say it before, but opening them up now at 52 is like 10-year-old Casey opening up his is G.I. Joe's back in the day. It's, yeah. They're amazing. And That's awesome. Yeah, if anybody's on the fence, if they're uh, wanting to get some Delta 17s, I say try a couple. Uh, I don't, you can't go wrong with them. That's right. really cool, man. That's awesome. All right. Hillbilly, did you have anything you wanted to share? Yeah. Um, first, in I got a package from Frank and Joe Customs in uh from india and he sent me a fun school uh sci-fi oh wow two. yeah oh nice man and i had no idea who it was and i had to message him i was like who is this yeah he's like oh that's sci-fi and i was like cool and then ralph the second here <laughs> ralph benarski i'm apologizing if i said your name wrong he did a contest, and I won Cobra Commander number one that he did wow. a sketch cover on, and then That's he cool. also did the back end of sketch cover. Nice, very cool, man. Yeah, Piper Harper, yeah. very cool. Yep. Yeah. So that's all I've gotten in. All right. Very cool, you? Steve. Me. Do you have anything you want to talk about? Well, I don't know if you <laughs> notice. Who's that distinguished gentleman in the background? Painting here. The Godfather, Marlon Brando. All right. Uh, that was given to me as an early birthday gift. Uh, as a friend of ours, she's an artist um, and she does a lot of cigar art. I'm a huge cigar guy. And uh, her parents bought the painting, had it framed and gave it to me as a gift. So that, oh. it was very nice, you know. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. His eyes kind of follow you around wherever you go. Oh, wherever you go. We're going to have that guy killed. So what cigar art? Huh? Cigar oh. art. Oh, um, that's just anything, you know, with um, that's to do with the cigar culture, whether it goes to the planting, the actual uh, tobacco leaf, you know, the cigar labels, uh, things like that. I have um, like like this here i got like third place in a cigar art contest for this table here oh that's cool that's really cool yeah and these are what it is is cigar bands that and these are actual cigars that i've smoked <clears throat> and all of these i've <laughs> each and every one of these bands i've smoked the cigar and oh, I, nice. I, I kept it <clears throat> and for the longest time i didn't know what i was going to do with them i just wanted to keep them and uh I just decided to enter this contest and I had an idea of just, you know, making a table with the labels and I put a coat of um, acrylic over the top and there I got a table. I got third place. So I got Very a cool project. I got a, a box of cigars out of the deal and, you know, that's a win for me. So I was good. Yeah. <laughs> so do you have a favorite cigar? I do. Um, my favorite cigar just is a... Perdomo 1928. I love it. It's uh, it's, it's they age it for a while. Like the the cost of the cigar comes to how the process is made and and how long they age it. It's kind of like a, a whiskey or a wine. You know, um, the longer they age it, the more that they spice it, the better it's going to be in a cigar. The more it's going to give the value to the smoker because it creates a, an experience for you. And this one, man, it's nice. It's, it's peppery. It's leathery. It has a very uh, billowy mouthfeel when it, when the smoke clears, it's fantastic, man. And I'm really into the cigar stuff. I got into it guys. So, you know, Oh, so you got that you. kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Go for the 28. Don't go for the 27. That's a rookie move. <laughs> 
<laughs> you gotta know what you're doing here, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah, you look like an imbecile if you go to the Perdomo 27. Get that out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool, Steve. Very cool. So, uh, um, what, what about you? you oh, me. me? Oh, I yeah, do have something. Oh, what you got? So, in my toy photography, I enjoy to have. I like to have props and things to to bring a little bit of realism in, in, into my dollies. And um, my father has 3D printed me a Zodiac boat. That's really cool. And um, uh, now the boat is not his design, but the the gun mount and the uh, the the M2 are. And um, as you can see, it it fully traverses. There's even little bullets in here in the ammo box as well. <laughs> I don't know if you can even make that out, but the lid will actually open and close based on how you want it. Because, and I had he was in in the military, so I confirmed with him. I was like, "So is the lid open when you're shooting?" He's like, "Yes, the lid is open when you shoot and closed when you're not." So nice. as you can see, I had the lid open in position there. He all he did design the uh, motor at the at the back there, the engine. Um, this piece came off, but it will go back on, and then we can go on land and lift up the motor so we don't ruin our props on our secret mission to save uh torpedo and uh oh and the uh the machine gun even has a porthole for blast effects <laughs> and uh, cool. this white That's stuff awesome. i'm sealing the 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 seam so it'll be air airtight little gi joe reference there so i can play with it in the water in my bathtub in the water, in the <laughs> water. Uh, so that's the show, yeah. uh, everybody. Uh, Podcast from the Pit, Casey Hillbilly. Thank you so much for, for joining us. Uh, it was Thanks a lot of fun. Awesome times two. Um, <laughs> pod, pod, Podcast from the Pit. Please make sure you... Oh, wrong button. There we go. Not that one. Oh, oh. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe them. If we if pi if plastic profiles is like reading a book report to someone, podcast from the pit would be like your buddies talking around to about toys around the fire the fireplace. I was gonna say the fire cooler. <laughs> the fireplace about water cooler is what I was going for. The fireplace. Um, talking it's about very, toys, it's, it's not just GI Joe. Intimate setting is what it uh, is. <laughs> as you can see, there's some He-Man stuff right in there. Very they talk cool. about all kinds of toys, all yeah. kinds of brands, and um. And we're it's, mostly it's a Joe. good time. It's a yeah, good time. We're mostly Joe. Mm -hmm, mostly Joe. And we appreciate that. And like yeah. I said, the, you guys are always welcome on. So we'll Thank have you. you back for sure soon. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Look forward to it. Same here. Um, let's see. Uh, Stephen, the writing dad, tell them about what you do. Well, you can find me at the writing dad.com. There you can get links to all my social media. Um, extensions where we talk about what it's like being a dad and things that we come across um i love being a dad i think it's one of the best if the best thing you can do with your life and but it takes practice takes a village that's where the writing dad.com comes in uh also you could get links to my short stories and where you can find them <laughs> awesome um and i'm agent chuckles you can find me on all the social medias i take toy photography pictures i do all kinds of stuff you can Pretty find cool. all those links for all of us here in the Just description down Just below. Click the button. Um, click but it. this one, this is the big one here. Like and subscribe, like subscribe. to podcast from the pit so right after you like and subscribe. You regret it. My show. It is fantastic. But do it. Do it. <laughs> do it. Thank you. Do it. Um now. And that's we'll it. Make you love now. Now. What's that? We'll make what you, happened? We'll make them an offer they can't refuse. There you go. There you go. <laughs> that's yeah. a good way to end the show. Hey. Uh, sorry. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yo, Joe. Yo, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Now we're recording. <laughs> recording started. <laughs> I've never had a guest on before. <laughs> okay, we're recording now. It's All right. You guys.
<laughs> Are you guys? 